Let's talk uh, day three. I, I know you got you, you dig in and take a look at some of the more obscure names. Who are some names to listen out for that you like that uh, could be called uh, by the Browns uh, in day three? Yeah, so bear with me here. I got a list. Um, <laughs> Meek Robertson, Louisiana Tech cornerback. Uh, Keem Davis-Genther, Appalachian State out, outside linebacker. Like both those guys uh, for tight ends. Harrison Bryant, Florida Atlantic. Hunter Bryant, another tight end Washington. And then the guy I like, Cheyenne O'Garrity, uh, Arkansas. I've talked about him at length before. Huge guy, 6'5". Uh, those other two tight ends are smaller guys, specifically at Washington. Uh, linebacker, Troy Day. Uh, two more corners to watch. These would be more seventh, sixth, seventh round guys. AJ Green, John Reed, and then well, let's talk receiver to wrap this up. Uh, I've talked about him a lot on this show. Tyler Johnson, University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. He's still available. Not surprised that he is. The team that lands this young man is getting a professional route runner who's going to be ready to make a name for himself after his rookie year. Probably he just needs the opportunity. Kevin Stefanski is actually drafting in Minnesota. Um, who knows if the ties are there, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns can land him late. And then Ohio State's own K.J. Hill. Um, I'm not surprised he's still there either. These route runner, good hands type of guys tend to fall through the cracks, and then they're the ones getting second contracts uh, down the line compared to the straight line runner. So I know I just gave you like 10 names there. Uh, some offensive linemen, Ben Bratch, uh, D3 guy, uh, St. John's actually another Minnesota kid. Uh, he's a guy who play tackle, potentially guard. Uh, so those are the positions of need and some guys I think Browns fans uh, shouldn't be surprised if they hear their name called tomorrow. 